Hello everyone, welcome to AV Atmos. If you like everything movies, audio and video technology around the cinema business, be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so you will be notified when our next content has been released. And today I have a beautiful movie for you on uh, Blu-ray on Blu-ray uh, review for you guys. And that is Godzilla King of Monsters. This was a good movie that came out this summer and um, it's one of my very good movies this year. It's, 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 it's really good and um, I will just have to delve into it guys. Um, the text specs goes like this. The runtime for this movie is 132 minutes, 2 hours and 12 minutes. Um, it was shot uh, in, in 3.4k and 6.5k um, digital intermediary on disc is 2k and um, the sound mix on your 4k disc is Dolby Atmos uh, on your regular disc you get 5.1 the um, um, digital um, 5.1 on your regular disc uh, but you still get um, DTS if you want uh, the higher resolution or uh, the HD master audio as well on the Blu-ray disc. Now, um, this movie is kind of like um, a movie that you would probably enjoy if you have a very, very good display. And what, what I mean that is that it's shot, it's shot mostly at night, so you get um, inky blacks. The, the the blacks was really really good um contrast was very good this transfer was better than what i saw in the theaters because of um, um better display in general and better resolution now um the 1080p was very very good it was solid um depth was there uh, this movie relies more on contrast as opposed to um sh overall sharpness because of the way it was shot at night and um, there is a bit of film grain as well like you will notice a bit of softness in some scenes especially in the um, daytime like the daytime has a little bit of um, softness in some of the scenes but it's not overdone per se you're still getting very crisp um, image quality the, um, the the sharpness is strong it is still weak in some areas but it was very very good in all true um there is very good um, separation in your foregrounds and uh, background it's very very good like at least the, the monsters looked very good they don't they didn't look cartoony or cgi uh, overly cgi rendered uh, they looked natural they felt as if they were real monsters um nothing really felt out of place i enjoyed every um, scene without feeling like I'm, I was watching uh, an oversized giant monster battle throughout the entire movie. It felt real. Um, I can't really speak much on HDR because this wasn't um, the 4K disc wasn't what I watched. So um, I will employ if you are in to buy this, buy this on 4K because from what I could see on the 1080p. Uh, Blu-ray I could say right now that it was way better than what I saw in the theaters and what it means is that the video quality would be very good on 4k and uh, it will have a lot of vibrancy on 4k now um, as for sound mix you are getting 7.1 on your regular um, 1080p um, I will advise you go for the 4k because you get Dolby Atmos because from what I heard on the regular 7.1 it was intense like in the theaters I think what happened in my own theater is that there was a bit of um, lack of bass but everything was very good in theater and that was why I was kind of like giving that movie um, a, a bad review. I was giving Godzilla when I uh, a bad review, especially when I used to review it on Facebook. I, I I said that the audio wasn't so good, but when I watched this on Blu-ray, I could tell because it's my own um system now. I could tell that this is a well mixed movie. And let me tell you guys something: 
Warner Brothers hands down makes the best sound mix in the entire movie business. Warner Brothers is a company. There is no other brand that makes better sound mix than Warner Brothers. They make the best out of every other studio. They are very good. This movie has a lot of dynamics. It is crystal clear. It's demo worthy. The battle scenes, I don't think there is a scene that I could call out that is better than the other. Like, um, let's take for instance Avengers Endgame. I couldn't say that Avengers Endgame's audio was demo worthy. Visually, Endgame was good, but uh, audio wise, I wouldn't say it was demo worthy. But this is demo worthy because the sound was as good as Kong's Call Island. They had a lot of rumble and not just rumble, it had a lot of weight and impact. That is what you look out for when you are getting a movie. It has to have a lot of dynamics and punch. And that is the reason why I do not review some of the older movies like um, Thor and all those Marvel movies because they don't have what Warner Brothers movies do have. And that is where they lack. So as for audio, I'm going to give this at least a 7.1. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Go out there and get the Dolby Atmos mix on 4K. It is well worth it. As for video, I'm still going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. As for movie in general, the rating I gave Godzilla King of Monsters is 6.5 out of 10. It is a good movie for the summer and you're going to enjoy it everything and I, I can't wait for King Kong vs Godzilla coming next year. I hope they don't delay it considering um, King of the Monsters flopped this year. I just hope they don't delay. It. Now on to the next topic which I'm just going to rush through is um, our favorite Disney as a brand have actually had five movies now in the, in the one billion dollar club and the recent one to join in today was Toy Story 4. So, um, Toy Story 4 has officially crossed the billion dollar mark, and this is incredible because currently Disney has already earned a massive 8.7 billion dollars actually, 8.6 billion as, as, as of making this video. And with the way Disney is going, with the way they are going to re release um, Maleficent, the, uh, Maleficent 2, I mean, Mistress of um, Evil and um, you get star wars and you get frozen i i think this company is going to end the year with an astonishing 12 billion dollars that is insane disney has really been like <laughs> i don't think they will even beat this record in the next 30 to 40 years i'm not sure what will happen in 30 years but with the records they've broken this year it is insane they have the highest wrestling movie of all time in the avengers end game they have five movies in that made billions of dollars this is madness right now as i speak to you guys so this is just a quick news tip that i have for you guys today it's amazing to have toy story for in a billion dollar club and i hope you guys go out there and purchase it when it's out on blu-ray and i'm going to bring you guys a review as well for that and the next movie i'm going to do a review for you guys very soon is john wick 3 because that one is already out on blu-ray as well uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so you will be notified when our next content has been released. Once again, my name is Immaculate and I'll catch you guys next time.